Hey everybody, today we are going book shopping. It has been ages and ages since I've been in a bookstore because of obvious reasons the shops were closed for quite some time due to the pandemic but a couple of weeks ago they reopened again but only on reservation so you have to book a specific time slot to be ordered to go into a shop and then you're allowed in there for a certain amount of time with only a certain amount of people in the entire store but I've booked a spot in the bookshop today because it has been i haven't been in a bookshop since hmm, how long has it been four months quite some time i think because i think the last time was beginning of december so for some people that might not have been that long but for me it's just i've missed it so much it is especially sad because uh, i moved to rotterdam at the beginning, no not at the beginning of November, at the end of November. And now I live very close to one of the most amazing and biggest bookshops here. Which is Donner Bookshop. It is amazing and I was so happy to be living so close by. So I could go there whenever I wanted to and then the shops closed. So I haven't been there that much yet. But today we are going book shopping and I'm going to vlog it because... This is a special occasion and I want to be able to document it and have fun with it. Also because I do love to watch bookstore vlogs myself so much because you know when you cannot visit a bookshop which is probably still the case for a lot of people then the second best thing is to watch bookstore vlogs to sort of live through those. One that I recently watched actually is a bookstore vlog from Leora from Books with Leo who also went to Donner because she also lives in Rotterdam so yeah I'm just basically going to do what she did and go to the same bookstore but you should really check out her channel I will leave a link to it down below in the description box because that bookstore vlog was also amazing and basically inspired me to go to the bookstore again but yeah i'm going to go there in a little bit my appointment is in around 45 minutes so uh, it is close by so i will be there in no time but i'm so so much looking forward to it book shopping is just amazing and i actually don't really have a list of books that i want right now because that's what i love about bookshops is to go in there and just browse through the books and see whatever i can find that i did not know yet the time slot of that you're allowed to be in the store is 30 minutes long and to me it feels both short and long at the same time because i sort of feel like i have to like run through the bookstore to see everything but at the same time like 30 minutes is quite some time you know it's not like it's five minutes i can still just go through it <laughs> i think reasonably okay like not too rushed and of course you know i can always book another time slot somewhere in the next week whenever i feel like it because um yeah i live close by and that is one of the fun things of living in the city but yeah obviously today i'm going to take you with me i'm going to vlog it let's see how vlogging in public goes after such a long time of not doing it and usually when i film bookstore vlogs i have my sister with me who just films for me and follows me around with my camera like a sort of paparazzi and i don't have her with me right now so i have to do it by myself but i'm going to make it work and uh yeah again so excited for book shopping oh it is so nice it's going to be so nice to be in a bookstore again so let's just go and do some book shopping
Okay, I am back home, back in the same filming spot where I started. And my bookstore visit was a massive success. It was so nice. I bought a lot of books. I went a bit overboard. And I will show the books that I bought in a minute. But first of all, it's just... I felt like it felt like coming home. It was so nice to be in a bookstore again. I was kind of surprised because it was actually a lot busier than I thought it would be. Like there were a lot more people allowed inside than I thought would be the case. But I believe that is calculated on the size of the entire store and the entire bookstore is like really really huge so yeah i'm guessing that still some people like a decent amount of people are allowed inside i don't know i don't make those kind of rules but it's nice to see other people again also enjoying books and book shopping and just going through all the departments and like all the genres and everything i had a really great time and i managed to film quite a bit i think i think that went all right overall i'm just so happy with like how everything turned out and oh best afternoon ever well not ever but a really good afternoon overall but i'm guessing that you're probably wondering about the books that i've bought and yeah as i mentioned there are quite a bit i bought eight books eight books i know i know it's bad <laughs> but i had something to make up for you know like oh finally i could buy books again in an actual bookstore which is just so so nice and also two of those books aren't for me like i bought one book for my dad and one book for my mom so only only six of those books are for me but yeah let me show them to you real quick let me do a little book haul uh because i think that's just the perfect way to end this you know reading vlog no not reading vlog bookstore vlog so i will do a book haul for you guys so the first book that i well not necessarily the first book that i bought but just the first book that is on this pile of books is the once and future riches by alex e harrow this is a book that actually was on my wish list for quite some time because it is sort of like it is historical fiction but also kind of fantasy ish because from what i'm understanding it takes place in 18 93 it's about three sisters and they sort of tumble into witchcraft but not really mean to i guess probably not describing that correctly at all but uh it is about like a time where witches do not exist anymore but then they sort of get involved i guess that's sort of the id and as i said it was on my wish list for quite some time so when i saw it i just had to buy it and also i'm obliged to do this it is a floppy paperback so that made it even better and yeah, that was the first book that landed in my basket at the store. The next book that I bought was uh, The Burning Chambers by Kate Moss. Because this is a book that was actually recommended to me a little while ago. I think in one of the comments on my historical fiction TBR books. Because this one is historical fiction. It is about a 19 year old girl named Minou. And it takes place in 1562 so in the 16th century and apparently Minou receives a mysterious letter and that is sort of the start of the story and the letter only says she knows that you live so that sounds very mysterious and of course if you know me I love historical fiction I always love historical fiction so new historical fiction books are always welcome and I picked this one up because I remembered it from that comment like it was sort of in the back of my head and I was like oh yeah that one sounded nice. So uh, yeah, that's why I bought it. Also, I saw that the second book was on display as well. Because I think this is the first book in a series. Not really sure how that works and how many books there are going to be. But I guess I will find that out once I've read this one. Uh, but it sounds very intriguing. Then a book in a genre that I don't really buy or read all that often anymore. But this one... I was very interested in and that is Moxie by uh, Jennifer Mathieu. I was interested in this one because as it says on the cover it is now a Netflix movie and I recently saw the trailer of that movie and I thought it looked amazing. So Moxie is a YA contemporary and it's about a girl, a teenage girl named, what is she called, Viv? Vivian and she has enough of everything that is sexist that is going around in her school how girls are treated and she starts an anonymous magazine to write about that and that is sort of where the moxie group message thing comes from that is what i've gathered from it and again because the netflix trailer looked so amazing i really wanted to read the book i also want to watch the movie but i actually prefer to read the book first because i don't know that's just usually how i prefer it and when i saw this one as well i was like yeah i want this 
I want to read it because it sounds like a book with a very important message. And I do know that when it was released a couple of years ago, it was like very popular, very much talked about. And yeah, again, very excited. And I think I will enjoy this one as well. So yeah, it looks very pretty and pink as well. I just love the cover. Next book that I bought is The Avond is Ongemak by Marike Lucas Reineveld. As you can probably tell from the title, this is a Dutch book by a Dutch author, but... This book is actually translated into English. In English, it is called uh, The Discomfort of Evening, I believe. And what is special about this book is that it's the winner of the International Booker Prize of 2020. And it's the first Dutch winner ever. So that is why it was like on the news a couple of months ago like it was all over the news and that is why i knew the title that's probably also why there was a very big pile of this book in the bookstore because you know when you win a prize like that it's very special so there is an english edition but in this case i did get the dutch edition because in this case it is one of those rare moments where a dutch book is the original and the english book is the translation and i never like i don't really like to read translations so you know i had to go with the original because i am dutch i like to read in dutch every once in a while so this book is about a farmer's family and it's about one of the children dying and then how the rest of the family deals with that i have heard that it is quite intense and that sometimes it gets a bit weird maybe but i was intrigued enough to buy it and to hopefully read it sometime soon but it still sounds very interesting to me so yeah that is why i decided to pick it up also it is a hardcover with no dust jacket because that's usually the case with dutch books they are always not always but they are often hardcovers but then without a dust jacket, it's actually printed on the cover. No reason why I'm talking about that. I think that's just a funny way of recognizing a Dutch book or like a Dutch, you know, edition of a book. And uh, I actually always really love it because I do love hardcovers or hardbacks, but I always take the dust jacket off whenever I'm reading it. But with this one, I don't have to. So that is also nice. <laughs> the next book is a very weird one, but it really drew my attention because it sounded so weird and that is future perfect by felicia yep so the premise says that it's about uh, a bomb that goes off during a fashion show and it kills one of the models and then it's about you know the um the police agent that has to investigate it and has to find the murderer but then the premise also says that it takes place in the 1980s in the 1990s but then in the future in the no not the 90 the 2030s and that it's sort of sci-fi-ish or futuristic and historic at the same time it sounded so weird to me but that is why i was like well yeah i need that book and that is one of the things that i love about visiting a bookshop so much because you find books that you've never heard about that sound weird maybe but still so interesting and i was completely just intrigued and i want to have it so that is why i did buy it and i cannot wait to see if i'm actually going to like it if it's actually going to be something um but i'm yeah it sounds interesting never heard about it uh, but i bought it and yeah hopefully it will be a good one the last book that i bought for myself is ship of magic by robin hobb and this is the first book in the uh, life ship traders trilogy so i've only read one robin hobb book so far and that is assassin's apprentice and i've like i do own the entire assassin's apprentice no farseer trilogy series you can i think you can see it right here there they are look at them they're so cute even though i have not finished that series yet I decided to buy the first book in another Robin Hobb series uh, because I'm just so sure I will love the rest of the Farseer trilogy as well. Because I love fantasy and I think the writing is just amazing and I think it's going to be amazing in other book series by Robin Hobb as well. And also like I was kind of just falling in love with how the cover looked and there was like this entire shelf of Robin Hobb books and they look so gorgeous together with like that sort of typical robin hop design and i love how big it is and just oh i felt like i needed to have a new fantasy book as well if that makes sense and i'm 
fairly certain that I will enjoy Ship of Magic. So even though I want to finish the Farser trilogy first, I already own the first book to another series. So that should be fun. Then I have the books that I got for my parents. The first one is the Dutch edition of The Queen's Gambit by Walter Travis. This one I got for my dad. He asked for it. So I got it. I got it at the bookstore because I was like, I want to buy some books actually at the bookstore. So that is why I got this one for my dad. And I haven't read the book. I have not read or seen the series. All I know is that it's about a girl who plays chess in a man's world i guess so um yeah i should probably ask my dad what he thinks of it once he has finished it but that this one isn't for me but maybe someday i will get the english edition who knows and then for my mom i got the dutch edition of daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed she has recently finished uh, the seven husbands of evelyn hugo but in dutch uh, somewhere last week and she really really enjoyed it so i got this book for her because i know that if you love Evelyn Hugo, you will love Daisy Jones as well. And basically, I'm always like picking out books for my mother because she knows... Well, I know what my mother loves in books. I know her reading taste. And there are certain books that I've really loved reading that I just know that she will love as well. For example, Evelyn Hugo. And uh, yeah, this one is then also for her because... Um, if you love Evelyn Hugo, you need to read other Taylor Jenkins Reads books as well. I just think so. Well, you don't have to, of course, but I think she will enjoy it. So I cannot wait to hear her thoughts on this one. I always love it whenever my mother reads a book that I've picked out for her that I really love and then hear her thoughts on it, which is just, it's always so nice. I do say that as if it's her choice, which is not really the case because <laughs> I always give her books for her birthday and for Mother's Day. And for Christmas. So that is how I, I provide her in books that I enjoyed. And this one isn't really for any of those reasons. It's just, you know, a book in between. And um, I really hope she enjoys it. I think she will. So that is nice. I do really like it that my parents love reading so much as well. It's always nice to pick out books for them. I love picking out books for other people. And yeah, that is, uh, I guess, pretty much it for this bookstore vlog and this book haul. I really hope you enjoyed this day with me. I had an amazing day. It was so nice to get out, to do something fun, you know, there hasn't been much that has been possible for the past couple of months but now this was possible and it really really made my day it was just so nice but yeah this was it for this video and if you like this video maybe go subscribe give it a thumbs up or leave a comment as always i would really appreciate all those kinds of support and yeah hopefully i will see you again very soon in one of my next videos bye